In 2009, um, 84 infants lost their lives in Nigeria due to a tainted batch of uh, teething syrup that their parents unknowingly purchased for them. Uh, it turned out that it contained chemicals found in antifreeze and the, the children died of, of kidney failure. Um, such problems should not exist today. Sproxil was born to address such issues uh, by leveraging the explosive growth of cell phones in countries like Nigeria and other many countries around the world, such that consumers can use their own cell phones to check for the quality of the medication for free to see if it's from the right manufacturer or not at the counter um, with an instant response. So we think of our customers really and, and the people we serve as three different groups. And we believe we're delivering tremendous value to each of those. There's patients who, of course, we're delivering value because we're protecting them from purchasing counterfeit pharmaceuticals. There's also our customers who are a revenue source, which are pharmaceutical manufacturers. And the benefit they're receiving is twofold. One, they're able to increase their sales of their products because we're working with them and pushing out counterfeits in the marketplace that are stealing their sales today. And the second aspect is we're able to work with them in order to help them better understand the value of their products in the marketplace. And then the third constituency we serve are government and law enforcement authorities. Through our work, government and law enforcement authorities are able to do their jobs better because they're able to identify and root out counterfeiters or those who help counterfeiters. Beyond Nigeria, we've also been able to partner with IBM. By working through the Smarter Planet initiative, uh, Sproxel has received some key mentoring uh, that has uh, helped us grow as a small company uh, with ambitions to serve uh, lots and lots of consumers in very large countries. As the world becomes more instrumented, interconnected, and intelligent, new value drivers begin to emerge, or existing value drivers begin to become more powerful. There is the greater opportunity for visibility. You're able to see your supply chain end to end if you've got it instrumented on one end and it's feeding you data into, into the center. You're able to react more quickly, so there's the idea of speed. You can sense and respond and react to a crisis or just a change in your environment. There's the value driver of collaboration, this back and forth, you create a bi-directional conversation with your customer, with your business partners, etc. There's the idea of greater innovation with those business partners or customers that are enabled by that collaboration. There is the adaptability of your supply chain if you've got a networked system of assets out there that can be moved around or pre-positioned based on the conditions. One of the most important ways the digital technologies can create value is by increasing the connections between people and ideas. So as we move from information technologies that affect just one local machine or person or department to ones that affect entire companies or networks of companies, industries, economies, cities, states, um, we are increasing the potential for this combinatorial innovation and ultimately that should increase the rate of growth and the rate of uh, wealth creation in the economy. To us really smart at the core in regard to smart and smarter planet, we think about driving results. So for us, smart happens to be about what results we're achieving. And to us, smart means achieving results across several measures for several constituencies simultaneously. So it's financial return in combination with societal return.